Morning, how you doing? Now, a couple of years ago, I heard a few tales of a place near Sheffield, literally three miles outside Sheffield, where you could come and watch the deer run. And these weren't park deer, these were wild um, deer just on the moor. And um, I was a bit surprised because I've been doing wildlife photography for 20 years and it had never sort of crossed my path that I could do that. Anyway, as I say, a couple of years ago, I came up here to a place called Big Moor and I've really been captivated by the place ever since. It's just such a fantastic place, so close to home. Literally, it's 35 miles from where I live. Uh, and just to see this wildlife spectacle and also actually to listen to it. I, you probably can't hear on these mics at the minute, but literally I've walked 400 metres from the road. You can still hear the road a little bit, but I've got just deer roaring all the way around me. Um, it's still dark, the sun's not up. I can't wait to um, get up onto the moor and for that light to start coming through so I can take some images of these fantastic animals. Hopefully this time what I want to do is try and record some of the sounds as well because I think that does add to the experience that obviously if you're just seeing pictures you're not getting so I'm going to try and do that again uh, today with the sound recording equipment I've got on me so we'll see how that turns out. And yeah, it's going to be fantastic, I can tell already. And uh, just to stand here in the dark with these noises around you as the sun's starting to come up in the east, fog in the valley, what more could you want? Anyway, I'll catch up with you in a minute. Right, I didn't really get very far. I've just walked about 20 yards off the path, actually. I just saw a pair of antlers a bit further up, so I've got behind some, you probably can't see it, some bracken here just 20 yards off the path and literally there was another probably 50 yards further on there was a big big male with a group of females um, so what I did I just got down behind this bracken and managed to get a few shots the reason I've stopped here is because the sun's coming up in the east and obviously that gives you a chance of getting a, a silhouette shot of the deer so I've got a couple of shots they're okay they're not brilliant um, what I tend to do is if I get into a position like this I don't approach the deer I just get myself comfy um, I've got a 600 mil lens so I'm fine I don't have to get close but sometimes the deer on the set on their own will come closer to you so you get the opportunity of a better shot but he actually just shot off chasing another deer I think and they've all sort of disappeared over the top of the hill now what I'm not going to do is follow them what I'm going to do now is go to where I normally go and get set up over there because there's a couple of nice places that I found last year where I think I can just lay up and let hopefully let the deer come towards me over the next few hours and get some nice film, some nice images as the sun rises and hopefully as well uh, try and record these sounds. I'm just um, come down next to this beautiful um, silver birch tree um, here just for a bit in amongst the uh, bracken and um, it's gone really really quiet there's a, a group of um, females and one male in front of me and even they've all laid down um, there's nothing approaching from any any other direction I've got some I've got some young males in that direction, really young males. They're not interested in coming up here. And there's nothing coming from over the top. And the noise has just all of a sudden ceased. Um, it must be tea break time. It's 9.20. They're a little bit early, but... Yeah, it must be tea, tea break time. Because it's been really noisy up until this point. <clears throat> and then it's just stopped. So... I think I'm going to hold out here for a while because I'm pretty sure that it will start to kick off again. In fact, the big male's got back up. I don't know what he's doing. Um, 
and we'll just have to wait really. Uh, it's quite a nice position this. Um, the wind's coming this direction so I should be okay for anything coming from that direction down to these, this male and these females here. But yeah, as I say, it's really quiet. Um, very, very strange and I've never had it. There you go, we're kicking off again hopefully so. As with most wildlife photography, it's a waiting game, so we'll just wait and see what comes to us. Right, it's been a, a, quite a difficult morning this morning, but I've just had a really nice uh, encounter with one of the big red deer up here. Um, I saw him off in the distance and managed to get within about probably 200 metres, and then they came a bit close to me. He's only got two females with him. Um, and then over the period of about an hour, He's sort of come closer to me. I've gone a little bit closer to him. So I'm talking like three or four meters at a time. And what I'm doing all the time I'm doing that, I know I said I don't want to chase the deer around. I, I'm, I'm not chasing them down. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm sort of looking at what their reaction is to me being there. And if at any point they start to look like they're getting agitated, then I'll back off or I won't go any closer. So it's really a case of just finding out what their circle of fear is, if you like. Um, I ne I'm never one for, as I said before, I don't want to be walking straight up to them and, oh, I want to get a bit closer, I want to get a bit closer. It's like a two-way thing with me. So um, I'll get some shots initially and then if they're comfortable, I might move a little bit closer in little tiny steps. But as soon as I see that there's any sort of stress on their part, then I'll back off and uh, it's worked really well this morning. He's, he's been sort of so comfortable with me there that he's been eating um, and just ignoring me and having a scratch and then he'll look across to make sure I'm, I'm still there and then, you know, he'll eat some more. And he's just basically, I've backed right off now and he's just moving off with the females um, a little bit further away. So it's been absolutely excellent just, uh, just watching these three actually for an hour. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna head off back down the hill and see if I can bump into anybody else on the way down. Um, it's really, really hot now and uh, very, very sunny, so uh, I wasn't expecting it to be this. I know, I wasn't expecting it to be this uh, hot, but there you go. But yeah, absolutely stunning up here today. Uh, you wouldn't believe it's sort of mid-October. Right, I'll catch you in a minute. Right, I think that's me done for this week. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. Um, I made a big mistake first thing this morning. Um, at the beginning of the video, I was recording the introduction to it as I just got here. And I'm not kidding, the sound, I've never heard anything like it. The deer were just kicking off all over the place. It was absolutely fantastic. And I really wanted to record that. And I made the mistake of thinking, well, I've got time to go and get in position get up onto the top where the deer are, and then I'll be ready to um, shoot some images and some film as well. And by the time I'd got up there and got set up, it had just completely died down. There was just the occasional uh, roar and then answered by another roar, if you like, and then that was it. So um, yeah, it's a little bit frustrating. Uh, it means I'm gonna have to come up and try that again. Hopefully get up again while it's still dark so I can get that and just record the sound really. Um, I think that's interesting on its own to listen to, um, as well as just seeing yeah, video and, and images as well. So I'm going to have to do that again. I'm not sure whether I'll get up again this year. Uh, we're sort of mid-October now and, uh, you know, by the end of October, it'll be the end of the rut, early November. So, um, and because it's been dry, um, as I understand it, it tends to, the rut can be more condensed if you've got a lot of dry weather. Uh, whereas it tends to string it out a bit if it, the weather's a bit worse, if you like. Because uh, we've had such good weather, it's probably going to be quite a short rut. So, as I say, that's me done. I hope you enjoy the pictures at the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. See you soon. Because of the really bright conditions up here today, all these images were taken at f7.1 to f8, thousandth of a second for the exposure and the ISO was anything from 200 to 400 